Hello everyone, Charles Watts here. Welcome to the Emirates Stadium, or sorry, the underneath of the Emirates Stadium. You can see me look. If you have a little look down there, you can see the remaining few Arsenal fans just in the distance there. We're about half an hour, 20 minutes after the full-time whistle has gone here. Arsenal 3, Burnley 1. A few Arsenal fans still in there having a few celebratory drinks while everyone else heads home outside. I hope you can hear me because it is pretty loud in here. But I wanted to pop on, just go through my match review and player ratings. Like I said, 3-1 Arsenal, not the prettiest game. I think it's safe to say Arsenal not at their free-flowing best. I suppose you could have said that after pretty much every single game that we've seen so far this season. But Arsenal won again. And they got the job done again. It wasn't the prettiest, but it was effective. They got the goals when they needed to. And I think also when you look at the players who are missing today and who have been missing in recent weeks... It's just all about winning at the moment and getting those, getting those points on the board. And then hopefully now we're going into the international break. You can have a little bit of time to get some players back. And you look at the creative players that are missing as well. Gabriel Jesus, not here. Martin Odegaard, not here. Even today, Ben White, not here. And we know how important Ben White can be for this Arsenal team going forward. Getting on the overlap down that right-hand side. Thomas Partey, not here. Some really crucial, influential players missing for Arsenal. And you can tell in the performances, it's just not, I don't know, it's just not fluent. There's not that, that type of football that we saw from Arsenal last season. That's very, very obvious, but it is effective. And they're still finding ways of getting the job done. And they did that today. It was a very professional performance against a Burnley team who came in, sat deep, didn't give, any, didn't give Arsenal any sort of time, had basically 10 men behind the ball most of the, most of the time and looked to frustrate Arsenal and they did that very very well especially in the first half Arsenal didn't have much to offer had a couple of half opportunities they didn't take advantage of and then they got the goal right on half time really important time to score that for Arsenal it was a very good goal from Trossard you know you look at it and you think it was an easy goal but he put himself up there in a really dangerous position he got hurt doing it I thought it was really good from Bakaya Saka winning that header against some really tall Burnley centre-backs brave from Saka and he got his reward heading that the header back to the back post and there was Trossard to score putting his body on the line to get the goal really crucial I remember speaking to my mates at half time and saying that's a really important time for Arsenal it's going to maybe knock the stuffing out of Burnley going to give Arsenal the boost they needed in the second half to go on and play a little bit better <laughs> it didn't pan out like that in the slightest Burnley came out and scored within about five minutes and it was 1-1 I haven't seen a replay of the goal it took a deflection I could see that it was right in front of me where I was sitting but it was a little bit easy. They got in down the left-hand side. I think someone beat Tommy Asu, got the ball in, it deflected into someone's path. He had a shot, it took a deflection, went over David Raya, and it was 1-1. And you thought to yourself, you know, what have you got here, Arsenal? And how are you going to respond to this? And to be fair, they responded very, very well. Saliba got that goal straight after, and that was really, really important. It, didn't give, it basically meant that Burnley didn't have any time to settle into things. They didn't have any time to drop back again, have 10 men behind the ball. Straight away, Arsenal back in front. It was a really, really crucial goal. It was a weird goal. Again, because of where I'm sitting, I'm not in the press box today. I'm sitting in my seat. You don't get too many replays to see. But it was just very strange. It was a, cross, a corner in from Trossard. And it basically landed underneath the crossbar. And there was Saliba to get the header to score the goal and make it 2-1. And it was a really crucial moment for Saliba to get that goal. And from then on, you thought, yeah, Arsenal are going to go on and get this, get this win. The third goal was absolutely special from Zinchenko. It's one of those goals when they show it on the replay in the stadium. You hear the whole stadium sort of collectively gasped in sort of disbelief at how good it was when I mean it was the other end of the pitch for me but you could tell even there from 80 yards away it was something a little bit special for Zinchenko the way the ball fell to him the way he had to jump to connect it you could tell it was special but when he saw the replay wow what a finish that is really really good and I thought Zinchenko had a really good game he was back in the side playing at left back Tommy Asu of course was in at right back and placed Ben White and I thought Zinchenko played very very well and then to score it to cap it with a finish like that fair play to him and um, yeah done and dusted at that point Vieira did get sent off Vieira came on in the second half got himself sent off again I haven't seen a replay it looked and it wasn't that far from me as soon as he did it I sort of turned and I was like oh no that didn't look great I was not surprised when the red card came out there were very few complaints when the red card came out as well so it looked like it was a red card a high challenge I don't think he meant it it was one of those ones he sort of turned looked to block the ball was a little bit late the, play, the Burnley player got to it and it was just very high, it looked like around the knee, studs up challenge, it just looks like a red card all day long. So at that point, Arsenal then had to see the game out and to be fair, they saw it out very, very well. Again, I thought Zinchenko was really good in that. You could see he was almost acting as a cheerleader in that second half, did lots of good stuff, Zinchenko, really good performance from him. 
and Arsenal got the win that they needed. 3-1, three, three points on the back of Tottenham losing today as well on the way here, the early kickoff against Wolves. That was very, very funny. Um, I was sitting in the pub watching that just around the ground and uh, yeah, the cheers when Wolves scored those two and three time goals were as loud as when Sinchenko scored. Um, and it was just an important win for Arsenal that you go into the national break, try and get some of the injured players back and come back and you get just that little bit more attacking threat back, which I think Arsenal desperately need. I think this performance showed that, but they still got the win. Okay, player ratings time. David Raya in goal. Good performance from David Raya. I haven't seen a replay of the goal, so I don't know, but it didn't look like he could do anything about it. It looked like it took a deflection. He made a really, really important save at 0-0 in the first half when Burnley went through. Basically, their only attack of the first half. I thought he made a really good save there. Uh, so yeah, good performance from David Raya. I thought his handling was good. He'd come in for crosses was good. His distribution was good. Good performance from Raya. I gave him a seven. Tommy Asu at right back did well. You know, nothing spectacular. I think Arsenal missed Ben White getting on the overlap. I think Bakaya Saka missed Ben White getting on the overlap. But Tommy Asu defensively did fine. He got beaten a little bit for the goal. On the, got someone did him on the left-hand side before the ball came in. But other than that, it was a fairly solid performance from Tommy Asu. Probably give him a six. You know, nothing, I don't think, overly special, but nothing bad. So I'm going to give him a six. Saliba got the goal. Really important goal. Excellent. Again, a couple of lovely moments when he was under pressure, when he just turned out of turned out of that pressure and he did it really really well give Saliba an eight Gabriel a seven Zinchenko my man of the match today I think Zinchenko it was a, it's a it's a toss-up really Zinchenko and Trossard about who got man of the match I think Zinchenko for the quality of that goal the finish the technique I think he just about gets it I thought he played very very well and uh, yeah he gets an eight and he's my man of the match midfield Jorginho I'm not sure Jorginho needed to play this game. Like I said earlier, I thought maybe you have one of the more attacking eights playing, have Declan Rice playing as a six. But Jorginho did nothing wrong. He played perfectly fine. I give him a seven. Declan Rice played well, gave him a seven as well. Not as lung-busting as we've seen from Declan Rice, but still a good performance. I gave him a seven. Kai Havertz, uh, just a nothing performance from Kai Havertz. One of those ones I thought he played well in midweek in the Champions League. Today, he just did nothing he got taken off pretty early in the second half, soon after Burnley scored. Just, yeah, I don't know. Just one of those performances when you look at Havertz and think you've got to do more than that. You're playing, you're in this team, you're in an attacking position in the team, you've got to do more than that. And he went off. So yeah, Kai Havertz gets a five from me. Um, up front, Bakaya Saka got an assist for Trossard's goal. I thought it was a really good assist as well, really brave. Not the type of assist you're used to with Bakaya Saka but really important nonetheless. It was kept lar largely quiet. I think the fact that that midfield playing behind him of Rice, Jorginho and Havertz just fed him very little ball. I'm not surprised he was fairly quiet. So, But he got the assist anyway, so I give Bakaya Saka a seven. Leandro Trossard, goal and assist. Really brave for that first goal as well. Fair play to him. Put himself in where it hurts. Got hurt, but still scored the goal. Got the assist for Saliba's goal. So I'm going to give him an eight. Martinelli a seven. Lively, as always, not didn't cause them too many problems in terms of an out-and-out attacking threat, but very lively. Kept the Burnley defence on their toes as well. Substitutes who came on. Vieira came on for Havertz. Got himself sent off. I mean, I don't know. Three? What can he give him for that? Came on. I thought he was actually fairly... He's put himself about, and he was pretty lively when he came on, but then he overstepped the mark. Got himself sent off, so I'll give him a three. The likes of Reese Nelson came on. Kivior came on. El Nenny tried to come on, but didn't have time to come on. So those are the players I'm not going to mark, but yeah. Sorry, I'm just watching the uh, Bournemouth versus Newcastle game has started and Bournemouth in the first two minutes have had a couple of opportunities and uh, quite a few of the Arsenal fans around here watching the game as well and there's an uh, Arsenal fan giving me a thumbs up in there as well. All right, so that's it from me, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. I hope you heard me, first of all. I hope it's not too loud in here and too many distractions. But yeah, enjoy your Saturday night. Arsenal win, Tottenham lose. What more can you want from that on a Premier League Saturday? Speak to you soon.